Holy shit. It's finally in. Are you guys ready for the best purchase I've made in my entire career? Longest I've lived. This is the best purchase ever made. Three, two, one. Oh. If you guys don't know, this is the Sigma 18 to 50 f2.8 millimeter lens. Now, this bad boy cost me a lot of money. I'm going to show you what my current lens looks like and then what it looks like with this. So, this is my current lens on the lowest aperture, which is four. So we're going to go halfway down, and as you can see, fully zoomed in, it's not too great. There's almost no blur. It does the job, but not like this one. This is the Sony Sigma 18-50 f 2.8 lens. As you can see, it zooms in way farther. As you can see, if you track right there. The background is just non-existent. This is a way better lens, but at the same time, it is also quintuple the price. So, in my opinion, absolutely worth it. The quality looks so much better. Let's see if I can turn down the ISO one. So, if you can see the ISO, change it. It still looks super clean. As you can see, if I go into the natural light, my windows, we get up with Lines here, right? and absolutely blind you guys. As you guys can see, my window's a little dirty, but there is no flashing like my other lens. This thing is the shit. Now, I'm gonna go get ready. Holy, the aperture is way off. So and stuff. But, since I'm not running auto, because I'm a smart cameraman, I'm going to, as you can see, go to the gym. We're going to film with this new lens. Alright, happy Valentine's Day, guys. Um, we're at the gym currently. Let's see how the lens captures this. The uh, ISO and stuff is not perfect for that. But, it is so much better. This lens looks amazing right now i don't know how it's gonna look in the gym probably a lot better as well but it just looks so much cleaner so much sharper and uh i have some big plans with this once dan starts coming to the gym too because he's going to start coming back to the gym in just around 10 days so me him david are all gonna get some really really nice lifts in and uh just be super cinematic you know um not the because when I go in the gym, I obviously have no one to really record with. So I set up my big ass tripod right there, set it up, uh, press record, run, run as fast as I can so I don't lose all of my SD card, and then I just pick up the weight. So right now, what we're gonna do, we're going to go in the gym. I'm actually not sure what I had today. I, uh, I know it's pull, but I don't know the exact workout that I'm supposed to be doing. So we're gonna go right here, a little sneak peek on what my program is. I will reveal it in my next video maybe um, because I'm gonna be discussing that. So today we have a three rep max, a four by six with that with deadlift obviously. And that four by six is gonna be absolutely brutal because I think, is it next week? Next? No, in two more deadlift sessions, I'm gonna have a PR, which is hopefully gonna be 425. And I'm going to discuss that in a later video on my plans with that and plans with uh, bodybuilding and powerlifting, stuff like that. And then we're just going to have the usual stiff leg deadlifts, the pull-ups, the eights rows, the shrugs, the barbell curls, and the seated hammer curls. Now, last time when I was here and I was doing my pull workout, I had a, what was it, a 4 by 10 on deadlift, I think it was. And I kind of kind of tweaked my back a little. But right now, it is perfectly fine. But I am going to be way more careful because I do not want to uh, get an injury. And speaking of injury, my knees are finally almost fully healed. Um, I started practicing again yesterday and the day before. And uh, I'm just feeling absolutely fantastic. My knees are feeling great. 
However, when I am doing my lunges and stuff like that on a leg day, they do have a little bit of pain. So I'm going to continue to train my hips. And at the end of the workout today, I'm going to do a little bit of hips if I have time because I have three hours until practice and I have to be 30 minutes early. So I'm going to have to leave here around five-ish. So I have two hours to do a workout and record, which is a big feat for me. So I'm going to go in the gym right now because I've been talking for way too long and I'm going to have an amazing pull session. lens makes no noise. Dust the freaking walls, buddy. Dirty. How'd the drop test go? Drop test? On the camera. Does it still look know, clean? I see it, it still looks clean. No damage made, so. No damage. Zoom still perfect. Dude, it does not. This is too heavy for the. It's shaking. It's not supposed Shitty, to do this. Shitty camera. It's not Shitty the camera. Lines. It's not the camera. All right, so it's 5.30 right now. I have practice at 6, and I have to be there 15, 20 minutes early, so I'm going to end this video after practice. So right now I'm going to go to practice, and I'll see you after I am done with that practice. All right, so I just finished my practice, and uh, I'm going to go back on the lift a little. So I did a 4 by 6 on deadlift, but I think two of the sets, I accidentally did five because I was just, I wasn't really... I was, I was like focused, but I wasn't focused on the number of lifts. I was focused on my per performance on the lifts, obviously. So, um, I kept shooting my hips up a little. That's a main thing I need to fix. Um, I kept using my back a little too much rounding of the back. So, uh, I need to fix that a little, but overall I am pretty set to go for 425 on my next PR, which should be a week, week and one day maybe from today. So that's going to be a really exciting lift, 425, super exciting. 
But that's it for today. Um, I'm enjoying the new lens. It's absolutely phenomenal. But uh, that's it for today. I'm going to uh, post another video with this lens and try and learn the lens even more.